Tacoma. Hi, kindergartners. Welcome back to your TV classroom. Oh, well, we, it's going to be kind of rocky today. A little bit. But kindergartners, I think you can be patient with us. Oh, yeah. Because we film a week in advance, which means we just got back from spring break as Ooh. we're filming this. It's our first day back and you're our first lesson back. And you know, when you go back to school for the first time after a break, how things can be a little like rocky until you get in the groove. Mm -hmm. You kind of forget your routines and yeah. the rules. So and, Mr. Yeah. Kevin's remembering his and we're remembering mm -hmm. our routines. So we're, we're gonna be okay. We'll be fine. It's a beautiful day. It's a gorgeous day. Look behind us. Look Ugh. how beautiful that is. Ooh. So the first thing we do is we check in with our zones. Check. So let's check in with our zones. How okay. are you feeling today? Hmm. Well, Mr. Kevin, what zone are you in today? I would be in the harried zone. <laughs> That's a yellow zone. <laughs> <laughs> harried. Yellow. Yeah, yellow yeah. zone. Yellow zone's good? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome lots, of, lots of technical things going on uh, there behind are. the scenes today. That's Students. okay. You're doing a great job, Mr. Kevin. We mm -hmm. appreciate you. Thank you. Appreciate that. And teachers, how are you feeling? I'm in the blue zone today. I'm definitely moving slowly. I'm tired and... I broke my toe over spring oh, break. Oh, awesome. I know. I Ouchie. know. I tripped over a stepladder. I was painting my dining room and I tripped over a stepladder and snapped my toe. I'm fine. It'll be fine. It's just annoyingly kind of achy and painful. Yeah. Yeah. I know how you feel. Yeah. This is why I feel bad complaining <laughs> about my injury. Well, I'm also in the blue zone because I'm hurting. I fell and hurt my shoulder really bad. Mm -hmm. So you'll notice I have it in the sling. I don't know how long it'll be in the sling, but that's how we have to make it so it doesn't move, so it can heal, but I'll be yeah. fine. It just hurts, but that's okay. So I'm in the bluey green zone. I'm glad to be back. Yeah. I'm excited to be filming lessons. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to be with my TV classroom team, but I'm hurting. Yeah. So bluey green zone for me today. So what are we doing today, Ms. Oslin? We are going to Actually, today is the last lesson in <gasps> our entire social emotional unit. Is it really? Not just the unit, but the whole for the whole year. The whole year. So wait, but then what are we gonna do? That's where it gets exciting. Social emotional learning is very important mm -hmm. and it can be fun. But we now we get to try something new starting later this week, and it's science. science. We are gonna be talking about forces and emotions. We so good. Yes, I'm very excited. <sighs> But we have to do social emotional today. We do. Okay. So you'll remember. Well, now I'm noticing that my slides aren't showing up. I'm oh, noticing the yeah. same thing. I'm seeing a blue screen behind Mr. Kevin. That would be a Kevin problem. <laughs> That's okay. I bet he can fix it while we're waiting. I'll bet Ms. I can Oslin, too. as he's fixing it, what did you do over spring break? I painted my dining room. It took me the whole week. Oh my goodness. Really? Yeah. yeah. The whole week? The whole week. Wow. I know. Wow. And it was because the dining room was a really dark red, mm -hmm. like the color of your glasses. Oh. And I wanted to paint it a really light blue color. That's and, hard. Yeah, because the red was just so dark. So I had to do two coats of primer and then two coats of paint. Oh my goodness. And now I'm noticing, once you start a project, you kind of go down what we call a little rabbit hole. Kind of like the mouse if you give it a cookie. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, now I'm noticing I need a new, I want a new rug. I don't need any of this. I want it. I want new chairs because they don't look right with the new color. Well, it sounds like you have some things that you can change over time. Yeah, I have a project. What about you? What do you do? Um, I played with Oliver a lot. Oh, I bet. And yeah. we planted a garden oh, and fun. we went to the park and we saw family. Yeah. Just hung out. Very it was fun. great. Very yep. fun. It was Relaxing. a good spring break. Are you ready, Mr. Kevin? I am. Oh, look at that. Look, oh, at, look that. at that. Nice job. Oh, yeah. What do we do? Let's review. Mm -hmm. Eyes watching. watching. Eyes watching. Ears, Ears listening. listening. Ears listening. Voices is quiet, quiet, unless Voice you're asked to quiet. talk. Mm -hmm. And if it helps you, your body, body is, is still. still. If not, still. your body can be moving in a way that doesn't distract others. Mm -hmm. If you need help with that, ask an adult. There's lots of things you can do mm -hmm. and lots of tools you can use to yes. do that. Like don't do this, right? Well, if it depends. If it doesn't help you. If it doesn't help you, no. And if it helps you, then and you have to do it like that, yeah, not with that face. <laughs> See, you have we can to tell move, you're, you're being yellow and silly. Yeah. If you have to move like that, then you need to ask somebody to sit at the back of the room so mm -hmm. you're not distracting others. Mm -hmm. It's easy peasy. Sometimes, even when I have my active listening posture, I'm I not listening. I still need to remind myself to focus. focus. Yes. Focus. It's true. Focusing is so important. We always use positive self-talk when we say that. To always. Ourselves. Always. 
now always or if we help a friend remember remember because you like oh, miss yeah. oslin sometimes she'll go mrs wally focus oh, i'm like oh thank you focus friend she says it in such a nice way so you have to say it kindly it's important mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have a fun <laughs> new brain game. That I know what the brain today. means. I'm so excited. Yeah. Okay, this brain game is to help us stop and think. Okay. That's one of our skills, our social emotional skills that we've been working on. And we know it's uh -huh. important to stop and think mm -hmm. in lots of different scenarios, mm -hmm. but uh, one might be if you're feeling a feeling really strongly, oh, like yes. a four or five on the feeling mm -hmm. thermometer, and you might say or do something that you know you shouldn't. That's, is Mr. Kevin gonna play with us? I hope so. Okay. <clears throat> so that's a time when it would be important to stop and think. Another time it's important to stop and think is when you're learning new information. Yes. So that you actually are focused on the information. Stop and think. Yes. So this game is called, What's the Story? Hmm. And it's gonna go like this. I'm going to read a story starter, which is like the first sentence in a story. Okay. And then I'm gonna let Mrs. Wally and Mr. Kevin have a minute to stop and think, and their job will be to come up with the next part of the story. Oh, I love this. Fun. Okay, so I'll start with the story starter, and then Mrs. Wally will tell the next part. <laughs> Uh-oh. And then this is where Mr. Kevin really has to focus because he has to think about what I said, and he has to think about what Mrs. Wally said so that our story makes sense. Right, because if he's not thinking and focusing, then the story might not make any sense. Yeah. Okay. And we're gonna go, um, as I many think times. we'll go as many times until we just kind of like, yeah, I'm done. That's, okay. yeah, until we find an ending to the story. Yeah. Okay. Here we go, okay. The story starter is, when I got to school today, there was an elephant standing on the playground. Ooh. So I walked up to it and I asked it its name. And, Surprisingly, in the tiniest, squeakiest little voice, it said, Irving. My name is Irving. I said, it's so nice to meet you, Irving. What are you doing at my school? And Irving said, well, I'm here to make it fun and have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kevin's stopping and thinking. I'm stopping and thinking, teachers. Good practice. Then Irving said, what I think is fun is if we play on the teeter-totter. <laughs> <laughs> so I got on the teeter-totter and then Irving got on the teeter-totter and I went flying. <laughs> and <laughs> when I landed, I said, Irving, that was not fun. <laughs> Can I climb on your back? Irving said, of course you can. <laughs> and with that, Irving grabbed me by his trunk and gently placed me on top Ooh. of his back and his ears flapped and kept me cool. And he sauntered off the play field. And that was the day I met my best friend, Irving. That's a great story. That's a fun story. I had another ending coming. If you oh. weren't gonna end, I was gonna say, and I felt a cool brush on my face and I woke up and realized it was Saturday. So I could go outside and play. Oh, it was oh, a dream. That, yeah, <laughs> a dream. That would have been a oh, cool ending. Because an elephant cool. on the playground. No. Most definitely would happen in a dream. <laughs> it would, yeah. What fun. So what we, a fun game. That was a fun game. And we used that game to help us practice to stop, stop and, and think. think. Which is one of the strategies that we use when we are learning to get along with others. It's so important to get along with others. It is. It's what makes our world a happy place to live. It is. And that doesn't mean that we're not going to have conflict. No. Right? Because Did even you? in our close friends or families or work people, yes. we still have conflict. Conflict is part of getting along with people. It's how you yes. solve the conflict that determines whether you're getting along with someone or not. Not that you have conflict. It's what you do about it. Right. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to review all of the things that we've learned from getting along with others. Ooh, that's a lot for kindergartners. It is a lot. Okay, here oh, we go. We can do it. Yeah, we can. Oh, remember this one? Yeah, we'll have to do it together. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Okay. 
a win-win win solution <laughs> is one in which both people get some of what they want. And both people are okay with what happens. And this is important, like we said, because conflict is going to happen. It is. And like Mrs. Wally said, the conflict itself isn't what's important, oh. it's what we do about it. Right, you're gonna have conflict with even the people you love the very, very most. Mm -hmm. And you have to figure out how to have that conflict in a respectful way. Mm -hmm. Some of the win-win conflict solvers that we have learned are to share. Take turns. Apologize. Compromise. Uh, we didn't really talk about make amends. We didn't, we talked about apologizing in That's the peace true. path. That's true. Uh, definitely laugh it off. Mm -hmm. And if none of those are gonna work, it's important to get help from an adult that yes. you trust. Now getting help means you're asking for help, not telling on someone. Those oh. are two different things. It would look like this. Miss Oslin, I'm having trouble solving a conflict with my friend. Can you help me brainstorm some ideas? That's getting help. Mm -hmm. It's not, she called me a meanie head and I've told her seven times and she just keeps doing it and she won't stop. Yep. That's trying to get your friend in trouble. Exactly. Asking for help, then we know how to help you. Mm -hmm. Starts with, I need help with, that's how you ask for help. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's review an apology. Oh, it's important. That's that making amends thing. It is. Because we learned that there's a strong apology, and then there's an apology that's not so good. Not as meaningful. So an apology. Hmm. I'm trying to think of a scenario that we could play. How about you got on the swing and I wanted to get on the swing first. Oh, I have and you, experienced you that a lot. you knew I wanted to get on the swing yep. and you raced there to take it from me first. Okay, so. Okay, and we're friends. Yes. Okay. So I'm on the swing. Uh, I wanted to be on that swing. I told you that at lunch, that I wanted to get on the swing when I came out to the playground. Mrs. Wally. Yes? I'm sorry I got on the swing before you. I know you told me that you wanted to do it at lunch. Next time I would ask first or see if we can figure out a way to take turns or share. I forgive you, Ms. Oslin. Do you think that I could have a turn now? Yes, I think that would be fair. Do you notice what we did? Mm -hmm. I looked her in the eye. I was clear and kind with my voice. Mm -hmm. I used her name. I said what I was apologizing for mm -hmm. and- What she was gonna do next time. Mm -hmm. Let's do a not good apology. Okay. With the same scenario? Same scenario. Okay. Miss Oslin, I feel really upset because I told you I wanted to get on the swing after lunch and you <sighs> raced out here and you got on there first and you knew I wanted to be on it first. Miss Oslin. Sorry. <sighs> I want to go on the swing. Sorry. That was not a good apology. That was not, that didn't even feel good acting out. It didn't out. feel good to me either. <laughs> <laughs> I used sarcasm. You did, and you just said sorry. You didn't even apologize. And I like was rolling my eyes, and she was like, "Whatever." Just doing some disrespectful. I would make swing. me not want to be around you. Yep, mm -hmm. that would be fair. Yeah, that's. No. It's I wouldn't hang out with people that treat me that no. way. And that's why it's important to know how to give a strong apology. apology. The first way I picked the first way. Yeah, I mm -hmm. like that way better. Oh, we learned about the feelings oh, thermometer. Oh, that's so important. Thermometer mm -hmm. helps me think about when I need to use a stop and stay cool method. There it is. When I'm feeling, and this is a common misconception, is that the feeling thermometer or stop and stay cool is only when you're mad. No, it's, it's not just mad. No, it's what for if any I'm, emotion. What if I'm feeling really silly? Or really excited about mm -hmm. something and oh. it's hard for me to concentrate? Really unfocused. Oh, yeah. That happens to me where my brain's like going 7,000 different directions. I have to use my Okay, I'm gonna take a deep breath. Okay, I'm, I can see the table, I mm -hmm. feel ground. Okay, I can focus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you're able to stop, stop and, and think. think. And use your stop and stay cool steps, which is first you say, I, I feel, feel like, like I'm, I'm losing, losing control. control. Stop. stop. Then you give yourself a chili hug. One arm if you need to. <laughs> and then you practice deep breathing however much you need to come down on the feeling thermometer. I like hand breathing mm -hmm. or square breathing. I'll do square breathing today because hand breathing is mm -hmm. kind of hard. 
I find it helpful to close my eyes too because it really makes me focus on where I am. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this would be interesting too as a kindergartner. I know we're learning shapes. So yes. you could do different shapes. <gasps> you could do triangle breathing. Yeah. I think circle breathing would get too fast. Mm -hmm. Rectangle breathing. Hexagon breathing. Ooh, octagon breathing. Ooh. And that might also give me something else to think about. Mm -hmm. And help me calm down. And help me calm down. I know when I'm helping Oliver go through the stay cool steps mm -hmm. because he gets really big feelings yep. right now. We, a lot of times using distraction helps like looking yep. at a book and pointing at the things we see and then yep. he can do his deep breathing yep. and we can get calm and solve the problem. Yep, that's a good strategy. Oh, we learned about the peace path. Oh, yes. The peace path are the steps that we take to peacefully, respectfully solve a conflict that we're having with someone. Yes. Step one is you use an iMessage to tell the problem. Miss Oslin, I feel really upset because you came out and got on the swing when I told you I wanted to get on it right when I finished my lunch. Mrs. Wally, you feel upset because I got on the swing when I knew it's what you wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Here's that iMessage important to show active listening when you're doing that, mm -hmm. which I think we did a good job. Mm -hmm. We were looking at the speaker, I was quiet when you were speaking, mm -hmm. and I was still with my body, and I was able to focus. She was focused. She said it I back. did say it back, and I didn't need to ask any questions because I understood what was going on. Step two is when we brainstorm mm. solutions. This is where we think about those win-win conflict solvers, and we both pick one, that we think would work, or two, and then mm -hmm. we're going to oh. solve it. So, Miss Oslin, maybe we could take turns, and next time when we come out to recess, you could let me go first, but you can go first this time because you're already on there. That was a good compromise that you let me go first. Thank you. Um, I think that's fair. Yeah, we could take turns. That's the one that makes the most sense to me. I think it does because I don't think like laughing it off is going to help it or mm -hmm. talking it out or I don't think we need to take a break or like mm -hmm. go find something new. I think we can solve it by taking turns. Oh, absolutely. Okay. And we could even set a timer or we could count the number, number of swings. swings so that yeah, we, I like that idea. We know it's fair. Yeah. And then we solve solved the problem. the problem. We discussed it. We had the win-win solution. We both agreed to it. Now we're going to do it. Now we're going to do it. Wow. We have learned so many strategies for, for getting, getting along, along with others. You now have the tools, kindergartners, to get along with your friends and be an amazing kindergartner, almost first grader. Oh my gosh. Oh, and my solve your own problems. Mm -hmm. And you know, once you've tried that, if it doesn't work, that's when you get help. Mm -hmm. We don't get help right away. Mm -hmm. You are very capable of solving your problems out on the playground and with mm -hmm. your friends during choice time. You need to practice these conflict solutions. Mm -hmm. If they're not working, then you can go ask for help. Mm -hmm. And you know what the exciting thing is? All kindergartners in Tacoma are having the same strategies. Yes, so we're are all, all students in Tacoma. Yes. So you have the same language as every Everybody. other student in Tacoma. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be awesome. So now my question is, how are you going to use your social emotional skills? And this is what you get to answer on our Flipgrid. Mm -hmm. So your teacher has been given a link and you can click the link after you read and write, of course, and go on to Flipgrid and there'll be a video and it will say the episode number. They'll tell you the episode number and you'll see or hear me asking that question. How are you going to use your social emotional skills? We want you to write about it mm -hmm. or draw about it mm -hmm. or film a video acting it out with someone at home. We want you to tell us how are you going to use all these skills you've learned this year? Yeah. And then submit it. We cannot wait to see. And then we'll respond back. Yeah. Now, what happens if they don't want to go on Flipgrid? Oh, you can email us or send it to us here in the mail at our TV classroom. And Mr. Kevin will tell you how. Just ask your adult for some help if you need to email us at tvclassroom at tacoma.k12.wa.us. Or you can always... Send us something in the regular mail, TV Classroom, 601 South 8th Street, Tacoma, Washington. 98. 98405. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Our affirmation. Now, I think it's going to just be, I can use strong social emotional skills to get along with others. I think that's a great one. Because we can. We can. And you know how. We've taught you how. You've practiced how. Now it's time to do it with your friends. Mm -hmm. And it really does work, we promise. It really does. And here's what I'm tell you a little secret. If you go to a teacher to ask for help, they're just gonna walk you through the same steps. So 
Try it first on your yeah. own. I'll take a deep breath. <sighs> Say our affirmation. I can, I can use my, my social, social emotional, emotional skills to, to get, get along, along with, with others. others. Thank you so much, kindergartners, for joining us today. We hope you have a great rest of your day, and we look forward to seeing you back here next time in our TV classroom. I'll see you on Flipgrid. Bye. Greetings, young adventurers. You will be going on a quest. It will be a dangerous quest filled with obstacles and dangerous creatures. Should you make it to the end of each level, you will receive a coin. Find all four coins and you will be crowned the champion and receive this prize. Good luck, young adventurers. <sighs> well, time for my nap. Good day, young adventurers, and good luck.
Greetings, young adventurers! Congratulations on collecting all four coins! Well done! By completing this quest, you will now receive your prize! I hope to one day see you again for another adventure. Goodbye, young adventurers.